All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am your Ice Dragon, Rayron VR. And today on National Model Railroad Month for November 2023, we're going to talk about DCC, the Digital Command and Control System. So if you're wondering how to uh, level up your model railroading uh, experience, uh, if you just want to do a little bit more than what the normal direct current or DC layouts can provide, usually this is the next step in the evolutionary process of this hobby. This is the type of systems that you'll typically see at more fancier uh, layouts. Um, it's definitely you'll see in the modular community. And so let's go ahead and take a look at a few options that you have available. Now, if you just are normal used to DC systems, so Bachman does have their uh, easy command plus digital command and control station that is available. It is very somewhat user friendly. However, just keep in mind that this controller is the bare bones basic when it comes to DCC. If you want to run two trains in the opposite direction on a easy uh, track system from Bachman, then this might be the one for you. However, um, if you guys have been watching my channel, uh, I strongly don't recommend this system because it's just so many other great things out there that we'll go, go, we will go ahead and highlight. And so uh, we'll talk about kind of the earliest systems that happen when it comes to DCC. So you do have uh, DCS is a more earlier system when it comes to uh, command and control, especially in the HO hobby. Now, keep in mind, DCS is definitely an aging command station, um, especially when it comes to HO. Uh, nowadays, I couldn't even find um, command stations to buy um, when it comes to HO scale. However, if you're into the O scale, um, MTH is still doing a lot of their DCS over there and it looks like they just have Wi-Fi capabilities. So again, I'm not experienced enough when it comes to uh, DCS. I haven't used it in any clubs or just messed around with it. But just know that it is out there, but it is an older system when it comes to the HO scale. But uh, they're definitely advancing the O scale uh, command and control. Uh, another system that is also out there that is becoming somewhat of an aging dinosaur is Easy DCC. So you'll see this in uh, older um, model railroading clubs, um, personal layouts when it comes to operations. And so you basically have the command station along with um, wired controls. Now, if you want to have a quick way to go into DCC, especially if you have a really big layout, and especially if you want to do operations, um, that's where Easy DCC comes into play. But keep in mind, it is also an aging system. Um, they have been trying to update it over the years, but um, from what I've heard, some companies are not even going to. Um, experiment when it comes to troubleshooting when it comes to DCC decoders that's because this is how old this system is becoming and so that's just something that you're going to have to weigh if you want to go into easy DCC and I'll leave the link in the description below for how you can just continue to look through it and see if you actually want to buy it but again I don't recommend it just because again it is an aging system um, and it's going to be few and far between of who's going to be using it so easy DCC is an option now, um, kind of the up and coming command stations, especially when it comes to DCC, is DCC EX. Now, basically, um, this is a build your own type of command station that uh, you basically buy three different parts. You buy the Adreno board, you buy the motor driver, and you buy the Wi Fi shield. And this can definitely be a very quick way to get into DCC. And so, here is your motor shield that's basically going to give you the power that you need for DCC. Uh, we've got the Arduino system here, uh, main motherboard. It's basically like you're building your own mini computer is the best way I can describe it. And you're basically putting in multiple parts on top to connect it. And then the last bit here, we've also got the Wi-Fi. So that way you can control your trains from your phone, either from uh, Wii Throttle for uh, Apple and Engine Driver for Android. And it's a very quick way to get into the hobby. One thing about this is that you really got to be a little bit of uh, tech savvy to really put things together and follow the instructions. So some assembly is required and just a little bit of knowledge of just putting like a basic computer parts together. Um, the other issue with this, however, is going to be getting the motor shield. As you can see, it is sold out. It is definitely popular. So that's going to be one of the downsides with this is just plain availability. Uh, apparently, there's a big demand for this product. And so you're going to have to wait if you really want to go through uh, this particular system. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look at now the two main competitors when it comes to DCC. It is basically one of the great debates in the hobby behind which tracks should I use, which decoders should you use. Um, we've got NCE and we've got Digitrax. All right, so when it comes to NC, when it comes to NCE, a little bit different. You've got uh, you can get a, a power station cab. Um, you can also get these pro um, power cabs as well, and it, it's really nice. I've I've used these type of systems before. It's just the clubs that I've been at have used Digitrax. If I was at a club that used NCE the first time, then I'll be going with NCE. But again, it really comes down to. Uh, basically, what does your local club, what does your local public layout use? So that way, if you have an issue with the system, you've got uh, subject matter experts within those DCC systems that can help you out throughout the process and really kind of mentor you into um, using your system efficiency. So what, when it comes to these two types of systems, yeah, excuse me tongue twisted there when it comes to these two different types of systems do your research and just figure out which one works for you me personally i've always been with digitrax um so we'll go ahead and talk about it here so i like digitrax because um it's a it's a little bit of expensive to get into but they have this zephyr 52 that i absolutely love i use this for my home personal layout and there's a lot of cool things about it it is a command station you have your own throttle and it has a pr4 which connects to your computer so that way you can use jmra functionality all into one command station it is a nice command station to start off with and then you can gradually expand the network from there to go into layout control um, now i can go into the weeds with that but for uh, the sake of this video it's more geared towards you know what options are out there not necessarily um, you know the pros and cons of each system um, i talk about digitrax i have a whole series dedicated to digitrax on a series that you can uh, check out called how far can we take digitrax just to show you just how much we can do with the system and again nce can kind of do the same thing as well um, along with various other products uh, some other things that i haven't really listed here is lcc um, you've got um, some other ones that I can't quite remember, but you guys will, will um, list all those pro other systems out there in the comments. But again, these are the entry level. Um, I know for those European, they've got uh, the Marklin system has their own DCC as well. So if you're wanting to go into the Europe trains uh, for three rail, uh, they have their own system. Uh, but here in the, uh, the U.S., we have these types of systems. So uh, overall, those are all the main systems. you got Bachman, DCS, Easy DCC, uh, DCC EX, uh, NCE, and Digitrax. Those are the typical main ones when it comes to uh, DCC. And again, I'm just talking about HO scale because uh, that's just what I focus on. Um, oh, most of these as well can also be used for N scale. But again, results may vary. So... But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what uh, DCC system you use or which ones you're planning to switch to down in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.